Alright, so it's time for the final round. Uh, the battle between Estes and Delfinder. Both of these players uh, have proven themselves to be uh, quite proficient at the game. And this time we will see who the best TC genius is. So, these cards were banned. Uh, this is the character selection and these are the action cards that were chosen by the players. So, uh, let's look at the decks of each player. Alright, so looking at Estes deck, we can see that first of all he decided to go with Barbara as the third character. Mm, he is going to take that hit with Baizu. Uh, unfortunately, there's not gonna be many elemental reactions. Uh, looking at the action cards, uh, the strategy will most likely be uh, just to play with um, Diona and Barbara to set them up as much as possible and to stall. Now, interestingly enough, this is not all that impressive. There's no one unifying strategy, it seems. Uh, the strategy will be just to simply stall and uh, and and hope to get good cards. Uh, Taromaro could come in handy for damage. Uh, that could be interesting. Uh, so we'll see if that works out. Now, looking at Delfinder's deck, uh, uh, it doesn't seem to be that much uh, different of a strategy. Now, Jet was of course changed. Um, and Taromaru could also come in handy. Uh, now, Delfinder does in fact um, have uh, uh, Foma and, and Barbara, so that could be a move. Mago Kenki could come in useful with uh, some, some, some of his summons, perhaps he frees. Generally, also, there's no real one unifying strategy in this deck. Uh, it's just more or less just stall material and we see what we draw and we see how it goes. So, uh, let's do exactly that. Let's start the game and let's see how it goes. Alright, let's see. Wow, what a great starting hand for Delfinder. Huh. Estes decided to go um, for some of his utility. That might be a good move. We'll see. The Romaru might come in quite handy to serve the on. Plus seed box for Taromaru. That's that's a nice that's a nice move. Um, Delfinder is probably just gonna set up his artifacts. Veterans Visage, huh? Uh, potentially for that second card draw. I don't think Estes will do that. And there's the Taramaro, and curiously he did not use C Dispensary for Taramaro. Um, I mean, that's like spending two dice a bit pointlessly, but, you know, I guess those two dice were gonna go to waste anyway. Now he has a card to do. Hellfinder has quite a lot of artifacts now. Now the stalling will begin. Let's see who can stall better. Check this out. This will probably not attack we can do this. And Del Delfinder is low on dice. Uh, he does want to get that second tenacity from Barbara, but Estes is not gonna give him that dice. So Delfinder will simply have to stall till next round. And Estes plays Meryl. 
That's why he kept that seed box for some arrow. I see, I see. Now it's round 3 and each player has dealt uh, zero damage to each other, just setting up their characters and uh, damaging shields. Oh, and there's the Thomas weapon for extra energy. Gosh, are we gonna be here until round 15? Not quite knowing. Where are we headed this time? Wish me luck! <laughs> okay, well, the players are just stalling now. And there's the second tenacity. We had it this time. All right, the players are, are just stalling. Neither player wants to give an advantage to the other player, so so they're just switching around to, because both players have uh, the hydro plants and they want to use that. Well, Este has. Slightly better hand, Wish me luck. like not many of these cards are usable at the moment. Uh, there we go. Esther's got the first blood. That's what round four. It's round four, and and uh, damage only started in round four. <laughs> but you know, it will probably won't matter because each player can heal themselves. Where are we headed this time? Alright, the Delfinder wants to set up uh, his uh, Thomas burst. Supporting fire. Mind the side effects. Delfinder could. Maybe do something. I mean, he could cleanse the dendro, but uh, Estes cannot um, use uh, dendro. I mean, I guess he could bloom for one extra damage, but that's about it. And uh, Delfinder has begun to deal damage. Mm, but I doubt it will matter much. Because both players have tenacity and access to heals. Uh, Estes does have Calx's art, uh, so so he could heal up basically anytime he wants to. And Delfinder is just playing his action cards. He doesn't want to waste them. Each player is playing their uh, Barbara Hydro Cleanses uh, very well. There's the second Taramaru for both players. Now Taramaru unfortunately does not stack. Estes does have Guardian Zolf, which was given by Delfinder. Wish me luck. If Delfinder goes uh, for Mago Kenki's summons, uh, that might be a play to make. Uh, Delfinder does have uh, Mago Kenki's uh, talent card, though it's not very useful. Where are we headed this time? Alright, each player just uh, does not want to give. An advantage to the other player. Yeah, so, they, so they're just switching around. Now neither player has a fast switch at the moment, so so that's just 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 how 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 it's going. Oh, Jesus. All right. Interestingly enough, Delfinder went with the elemental skill rather than the talent. 
Uh, he did not want to switch uh, for uh, one extra damage due to blue, but he doesn't mind uh, being frozen. Or I suppose his strategy will be to cleanse Boom. Now Estes has spent, I believe, four dice just switching this round. But he does earn that dice back without taking, well, taking just one damage. Estes could perform two attacks, that might be the move to go for. But that does mean that Pyro will be swirled. Uh, though it might not matter for Barbara because she has tenacity. Where are we headed this time? And they'll find their switches. Now, is this this hey, going to heal? It is going to heal. performing another switch. Alright, it's round 6, you know, most other games uh, would be over by this point, uh, but this game is still not over just yet. <laughs> In fact, uh, the <laughs> if you include heals, like, uh, this, the, both, both players are basically at, at full health. Oh, pancreation time from Estes. Uh, let's see if he can make uh, that pancreation happen. I guess the housework can wait. Free switch from Delfinder due to Barbara Stalin. And Estes is going in for the kill. Delfinder did not attack. Is he aiming for the pancreation by any chance? Now, Estes could use the second Taromaru saving to activate his Taromaru. Uh, Taromarus do not stack, unfortunately. Or the uh, what they're called, Taromaru enraged. Alright, so each opponent just wants to waste dice of the other opponent, because neither opponent wants to give uh, an advantage to the other player. And uh, wasting the other player's dice is, 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 is a good move. Wish me luck! <laughs> That's exactly what's gonna happen, they're, they're both booking it for that pancreation. <laughs> Whenever, whenever someone plays uh, a pancreation, it just chaos ensues. You know, if both players want it, you oh you just get what you get is just pure chaos. <laughs> both players have Taromaru savings, so oh okay, Delfinder has given up on the pancreation. The desk does only draw one card. Two cards. Oh, was one card burned? Or was it not wrong? Is that a new thing? Well, there's the second Taromaru. And Estes chose not to activate Taromaru in raid. And Delfinder is still on full health. <laughs> Jeez, we're gonna be here until the end of the game. I, I wonder if either player can win. Oh, 
I guess the housework can wait. All right, once again, we're gonna switch and switch and switch. And Estes did get uh, the second Sumeru city, uh, which seed box could reduce. And there's the second Taromaru savings. Now Taromaru Enraged has been activated, and I believe Estes will be going in for the kill, trying to maximize his damage. Find the choice to switch to Marvel Genki. Mm, I believe he is going for the swirl and the additional dice. Where are we headed this mm, time? Scared off as this. And both players are once again switching around. I guess the housework can wait. All right, that's that's the plan, is to waste the opponent's dice. I mean, it's it's a good plan, but you know, it makes for a, not a very entertaining game. <laughs> Where are we headed this time? Let's descend it on two dice. Now, Bellfinder does have Taromaru savings, and... Oh, wow. That wasn't very useful. Hmm. <laughs> Got rid of the base to generate another to be But, you know, it is, it is one dice cost reduction for Taromaru. Now, he did stack both of his Taromarus, which is not a good idea, because Taromaru Enraged does not stack. Uh, but perhaps it won't matter. We shall see. Use the fast switch to not overdraw on cards. Jeez, it's round eight. I think I think we really might actually reach the round limit here. Neither opponent is uh, going in for the kill. Each opponent is just trying to maintain whatever slight advantage uh, he may or may not have just just shuffling basically at this point. wish me luck and they'll find a use his fast switch I think he may have forgotten he has activated it. <laughs> I think the better move there would have been to use Stoma and then fast switch to Barbara. I guess the housework can wait. There's another fast switch. Are the opponents the less? Yes, the opponents are just going to switch around. <laughs> Alright, uh, as this is doing some damage and Delfinder is also gonna do a little bit of damage with his Skanky. Where are we headed this time? No, he's gonna set up Toma. He's set up Foma instead. And Estes has decided to go General's Ancient Helm on Baizu instead of um, um, instead of uh, Veterans Visage. We'll see if that pays off or not. Hellfinder is in a precarious position. Uh, he could attack more, but then his Sealy would activate, which would force him to draw more. And the opponents are, um, at the moment, disinterested in drawing. Uh, they're more interested in just uh, not giving an advantage to the opponent. We can do this. 
what was that move? That looked like an interesting move. I think he just didn't want to overthrow. And he's getting rid of the second Taromaru. In favor of Chets. Um, I think they'll find this strategy. Getting rid of the... What? Okay, I don't know what they'll find the strategy is. Well, it's round 9 and both players still have quite a lot of cards uh, in their deck. Um, you know, the idea is that they might be running out soon, but they, they, they will not be running out soon. Once both the players are out of cards, uh, then they will be able to do... Um, essentially, uh, once the, both players are out of cards, they will have to uh, do damage to each other. I guess the housework can wait. Uh, will Delfinder use his Pancration now? This would be the perfect opportunity. No, he's gonna wait a bit longer. Now Delfinder is setting up his jets. Uh, which, you know, could potentially be the advantage that he's looking for, but um, looking at Estes, I don't know. I don't know if, if if two jets would be able to do anything. I'm not sure if they stack, actually. They may not. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay, Delfinder doesn't mind the freeze. Uh, is Estes going to freeze him? No, he chose not to freeze him. Instead, he will try to bait out his burst. I think Delfinder is going in for the burst. I guess the housework can wait. No? Okay, never mind. Mm, Delfinder will want to set up a Pyro Burst. Pyro Swirl. I think that's the idea. Is going in for the damage. Wish me luck. Delfinder. Is he going for the heal? No, I think he just wants to bait out that ice. Alright. Delfinder go. going in for the heal. Interesting. So he chose to mm, let. Oh no, never mind. Delfinder is going in for the burst. No, I don't know what's going on. All I know is that Estes has uh, three uh, hydro applications on him now, mm, which could potentially be the advantage that uh, Delfinder was looking for. Wow. Look at those Taromaru savings. That's a lot of dice. Uh, bye bye, seed box. Nobody needed you anyway. Time for round number 10. Tar another Taromaru savings. And another Taromaru savings. I think Estes will be going in for the kill now. Or at least trying to. Where are we headed this time? And Delfinder is trying to set up Pyro Spurl. Uh, Estes does not know that Delfinder doesn't have a uh, fast switch, though he did use one. Perhaps Estes we will think that. This. Okay, never mind. Um, Delfinder is just baiting his tenacity. That's the play, it seems. The 
That's a lot of Tarot Maru savings. <laughs> Wish me luck. I don't understand what Delfinder is doing. Don't understand his strategy. He could activate uh, jets at any time with Taromaru. So perhaps that's what he's trying to do. I guess the housework can wait. Oh. <laughs> what a play! Estes cleansed himself. <laughs> what a play! What a play! And I think, yes, Delfinder is gonna activate Jets now, so he decided to go for I the kill. Now, do you just stack? Oh, they're only one at a time. Okay. Unfortunately, uh, uh, it's not quite enough. Oh, never mind. It is enough damage. And Estes does not have a revive. All right, all right. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Delfinder has finally managed to kill uh, an opponent's character in round ten. Um, <laughs> now we'll move on to round eleven. But let's see. He manages to kill the second character as well. Uh, Delfinder is out of cards. Estes does still have 8 cards in his deck. Alright, well, Estes is not in an ideal position. Mm, he did not want this result. And Estes and neither player has any eggs, unfortunately. So no revives. We can do this. Uh, I believe the best strategy for Estes here is just to stall until around 15. Uh, he could heal up immediately if he wanted to. No, oh, he's gonna freeze Barbara because. Uh, They'll find her doesn't have a fast switch. Where are we headed this time? Is Estes going to heal? Oh, no, they'll find it did not go in for the kill. Where are we headed this time? And Delfinder is gonna activate his second jet now, I believe. No, he ended on four dice. What? No. I guess. I'm guessing he didn't want to. I, I don't understand why he did that. Right, round 12. We can do this. Where are we headed this time? As this is only move right now, will probably be just to survive until uh, round. 15 because there is no way he is doing enough damage to Delfinder. There's zero chance. Mm, Delfinder is this. a bit cautious about doing damage as well, it seems. I'm not really sure why. Where are we headed this time? So they're just waiting each wasting each other's lives. Where are we headed this time? Hmm. 
mind the side effects. Support and fire! And I'll find a did go for the burst to activate his jet. Estes extended his uh, summon for some additional heals. I think Estes will just plan on stalling with Barbara as much as possible and healing. And uh, Delfinder will get his uh, dendro cleansed. I think Estes might m just might make it till round 15. Uh, because I don't think Delfinder will be able to do enough damage. If Estes plays this well and switches around a bunch, I think it might be possible. Okay, well, Estes did manage to get his uh, Diona's uh, talent, but Diona is dead, unfortunately. What what a what a what a time to get it at at the end of the deck, you know it. He had it at the start of the game, and he chose not to use it. And Delfinder's trying to go in for the kill, though I doubt it will work uh, because Estes can heal himself with Barbara. Uh, but but we shall see. We shall see. And there is no possible way for Delfinder to lose now. So the only way that he can lose if um, if they make it into round 15. And in that case both players lose. Uh, the move here would probably be for Estus to heal. Or at least get that one extra energy for Barbara. And Delfinder is just using his dice. I think both opponents came to the conclusion that neither one can win. Where are we headed this time? Alright. Delfinder will try to go for Kenki's burst. Remember, health comes first. And Estes put up a shield. I guess the housework can wait. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Delfinder is just delaying it. Alright, well, this is the final round, and I still has cards in his deck. That's extra healing. Unfortunately, they'll find this advantage just amounted just to one character being killed. And A Estes is uh, gonna try to survive this as much as possible. Here's Becca! Plunging attack, that's the last card that this has. Uh, yes, it would be actually useful in this case. And that's this will heal with Barbara now. And that will be the GG. And there we go, both players lose. What a game. Let's see how well they do in game number two. Alright, time for game number two. 
The winner of this game wins the whole tournament. There will be no game free. They both tie this round, then they both lose. So the idea will be to go for the kill. Alright, very good starting hands for both players. They'll find her going with Kinky. Does he plan to attack? Alright, well, there's no real good strategy here. Wish me luck. So I think there will be some switching around. I don't think the actual gameplay will start until like around uh, around six or something. Each player needs more cards, more utility. Where we headed this now time. they don't have as many shields as they did last game. Uh, and if Estes gets Diona's talent, he will get the advantage. I guess the housework can wait. This charging up is my own instead. We can do this. Alright, this time Estes has the advantage. Where we this time? So Estes has used Toromaru, perhaps that will come in handy. Fire it up! Right. Both players are trying to deal a, a bit of damage this time. In this case, if players tie a second round, they will both lose. Uh, so they should be going in for the kill. Supporting fire. And they'll find is trying to do exactly that. Setting up Thomas burst. So far, there hasn't really been anything interesting, both players have just been shuffling and preserving dice, trying to set up their characters, uh, since they're using stall decks, it takes a lot of dice to set them up. We can do this! Where are we headed this time? Yes, and both players just switching around, not trying to give an advantage to the other player. 
I think perhaps a Catherine would have been a good choice to include, though I'm not sure if she was banned or not. Looks like we'll have another 30 minute game. Mm, Esther is making another Taromaro. That's interesting because we he did not this. use uh, uh, a single savings card, so Taromaros don't stack. And they'll find her replaced generals with the nasty. I guess the housework can wait. Once again, the opponent is just switching around and setting up their heels. Hmm. If they don't go in for the attack, I'm not certain either one will win. Where are we headed this time? They'll find that may have uh, gotten an advantage here. Mm, but no, Este. Estes has uh, prevented it. Otherwise, Estes would have had to switch to Baizu, which who does not have a shield. Unfortunately, they'll find I can't really do anything else here. Oh, trying for a Sunyata. Oh, Aron Tang Tian, that might actually work out. Is he gonna play it? Nope, he's playing Quicknit. It's a bit early for Jets, they only have one count reach, but I mean, in a stall deck, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Alright, Estes using his fast, fast switch. Just going in for the self cleanse. And Del Finder is just doing more setup, setting up his Kenki. Did in fact tune the Iron Tank PN. Which I don't know if that was a good call to make. I mean, two extra energy for two dice, that's that's a pretty good, good deal. Alright, Estes will not get the cleanse, instead he will apply Hydra to Baizu. But it will probably not matter, because uh, both players have Joyous in their hand. Right, well, it's round 7. Half of the game has already passed. And both players are still at basically max health. Mind the side effects. You know, Delphinder does not have 
Poma's weapon, and Estes is still missing Diona's talent. Here's so both of these players could achieve an even higher position than they are in now. We can do this. But we'll see if they will be able to do that. Right, and there we go. We have two. Uh, we have Taromaru, but you know Taromaru does not stack, so. Unfortunately, that's some potential that was wasted by Estes, but I doubt it will I guess matter. The can wait. And we'll just have to wait and see. Some damage has been done to Delfinder as well. But this is still light damage. Uh, one Barber's heal would be able to heal it entirely. And Estes now has Joya, so he could uh, cleanse his elements at any time if he wanted to. Okay, well, so far, neither player really has an advantage of any kind. Mm, I would imagine Bellfinder would uh, utilize his Kenki a bit more. And perhaps that's not a good move to go for. Uh, now, Estes could potentially get an advantage if he managed to, if he manages to freeze uh, a Bellfinder's opponent. Because Taromaru enraged this physical damage and uh, he gets frozen. That would do, be plus two damage. We can do this. But again, uh, this sort of damage both players can easily heal at any point, really. And I think Delfinder is about to do exactly that right now. Mm. Well, I guess the housework can wait. I guess not. Yes, both players just switching and shuffling, making each other base dice, which reduces the amount of actions they can take and reduces the amount of damage they can output. And neither player wants to give in, so neither player progresses. We can do this. You know, from a deck design standpoint, like uh, this sort of situation shouldn't happen this often, so. Both players uh, could have probably designed their decks a bit better to include more uh, damage output, but neither player wanted to do that. Both of these players wanted to go with stalls instead. And there we go, and Delfinder has begun to uh, set up his... Uh, Set up his chats. All right, well, Delphine managed to get the uh, Foma's weapon. The rightful reward might uh, prove to be highly useful. And there he goes and... Well, I guess the housework can wait.
if other player wants to win, they will have to take the initiative and break the status quo by uh, taking an elemental reaction that they don't want. But uh, neither player is really brave enough to do that. And they'll find her, I believe. Wish me will luck. heal. Estus could perform a plunging attack. Not that it would really matter, but normal attack instead. Perhaps that is a better move. One extra damage. Delfinder is not going for the heal just yet. And Estes has cleansed himself. Uh, I'm not sure if that was smart. Um, Delfinder could use this to the advantage if he switched to Poma right now. Uh, this would be a Where lot of damage. This time. Yes, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Mm, now, unfortunately, I don't think there's a way for Delfinder to kill his opponent's Diona. Uh, but it's still possible to do a lot of damage. And that's exactly what's gonna happen. Supporting fire. Unfortunately, Delfinder is a few jet counter short from activating jets. A very close call for Estes, but Estes does survive this nonetheless. Alright, well it's round 10. And jets have almost been charged up. It's now Estes' turn, and Estes will undoubtedly heal himself up. Uh, most likely with Diona's burst, and then with Barbara's. Oh no, switching to Baijiu. Okay. Now, Estes did get Diona's talent, which could be a game changer in terms of defense, but I don't think it will be a changer in terms of damage. And Elfinder is just performing more attacks. Yes, now it's time to waste Barbara's burst. We can do this! And Estes has healed himself up. Once again. I guess the housework can wait. Alright, next turn most likely Delfinder will activate his jets with Taromaru. We will see what happens then. And there's the second Taromaru. Will this be enough of an advantage for Delfinder to secure a win? Estes has used his Barber's heal and he is about to use uh, Diona's heal as well. So he will be out of healing Here's power for a little while. Now, interestingly enough, uh, Delfinder chose not to activate his jets with uh, Thomas burst. I didn't really expect that to happen, but he could activate his jets with um, Genki's burst if he wanted to. 
um, I suppose he will probably just end up uh, stalling until the next round once again. Wish me luck. It seems like both players will simply stall for a while longer. the player still wants to give an advantage to the other player mm. so they're locked in a deadlock uh, the only way to, to break out of this deadlock is to risk it by giving your opponent an advantage and causing some additional damage well, as the spend creation activates And Estus will burst with Diona. Uh, this way, Barbara maintains her uh, cryo element and will most likely be frozen next uh, next round. Though, you know, the, both players are essentially at max health, so I doubt it's possible for either player to win. It is round 12, so neither player really has uh, any more time to play these uh, these uh, stalling games. Uh, each player should uh, actually focus on winning and doing damage. But I'm not sure they will do that. The point of this tournament was to test the player's skill in, in, both, in both deck design and gameplay and what we see is that uh, uh, the decks unfortunately were not uh, equipped well enough to uh, beat their opponent. Alright, this could be a potentially interesting play. Delfinder is trying to make make a bit of a move here. Estes will take advantage of the situation, but this will probably break the status quo. And this will probably... We can do this. Uh, make it possible for um, Delfinder to get any sort of advantage. Uh, Delfinder will activate his jets, and Delfinder will begin. Where we headed this time? The assault, I believe. Well, will Delfinder activate his jets now? Uh, he could cleanse with Joyous. Uh, that could be a move that he could make. Wish me luck. Nope. Nope. He's too scared. <laughs> I don't think it it truly matters at this point. Uh, the players just cannot output enough damage in in the two rounds that they have left. Mm, so the, I I think it's a GG at this point. For both of them. I think they'll find is trying to set up a freeze. No. He chose not to activate the Taromaru. In this case, the uh, he could have taken advantage of uh, Taromaru because, um, as you can see, Paizo is frozen. But Delfinder chose not to do that. Alright, it is round 13. Mm, the next round will be the final one. And both players were too scared to do any real damage to the opponent. Where are we headed this time? 
Estus with Diona talent. Estus might not have enough draw power. It's almost at the end of the game and he still hasn't drawn his entire deck. There we go. We have the first jet activation now. And Alfinder does have 5 dice in his hand as well. That could prove to be quite useful. But Estes does have Barbara heal, uh, stock stockpiled with uh, Calx's art. And I think he will go for exactly that. And Elfinder will activate his second jet now, most likely. Will Estes heal with Barbara? He could still do it. And Elfinder is going in for the kill. I got you covered! Well, Estes, Estes will not be going in for the heal, he will try to spread out the damage as much as possible, and he will probably go in for the heal next round. You know, if, if anybody can win this, it's Delfinder, he has a lot more attack power than Estes, mm, but I doubt it will be enough, uh, you know, both players did not really bring enough attack power to beat the other opponent. Uh, even perhaps a catalyst for Barbara would have been a good call to make. Alright, and uh, Delfinder will simply try and go in for the kill. He has no real other choice to make here. Taramar will do additional damage, but unfortunately it will not be enough and Estes will be able to heal himself with Barbara. So looks so this is the final round and it looks like we have another draw on our hands. And uh, we have a double elimination. So it seems that uh, these players were not quite geniuses enough uh, to come up with a deck that could uh, break the stall meta. And there we go, Estes now will heal himself up and nobody will win. So unfortunately, both players focused too much on stalling, and they they just assumed that if they they survive for as long as possible, they would win. Mm, but that's obviously Wish not uh, not how the game is played, and uh, uh, you need to have a both both a good defense and a good offense. And if you uh, bring only defense, well, this is exactly what's gonna happen. Uh, you lose due to not being able to defeat your opponent. And that will be that. That's the seven eight uh, a crab. What a crab. And that is the end of that. That is that is the game. That is the um, ECG Championships. Uh, so in this case, um, uh, we have no winner. So both players will uh, receive the grand prize of the Velkin, and that 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 will be that. Uh, unfortunately, there is no winner uh, because uh, neither player was uh, good enough at. Uh, Either making decks or, or gameplay.
Now the tournament may have ended, but the fun doesn't have to end. I will be releasing the program with which I used to generate all these cards, so you can generate them yourself. And you can try out uh, making decks under the same conditions as the participants, if you want to check whether you can do any better or not. And the program itself is very simple, it's simply just an excel file that generates all the results. I am including both the excel and the google sheets files, so you can download them from the description below. So how do you operate this file? Well, it couldn't be any simpler. You simply click on an empty cell and press the delete button on your keyboard. And that will regenerate everything. As you can see, you have data such as uh, total action cards removed, the total characters removed, uh, the required action cards, uh, as well as the banned action cards. Uh, on top of that, at the bottom you also have the banned characters as well. And if you don't like the generated response, you can simply click on an empty cell and press the delete key again. And that will generate an additional list. Uh, now, one important thing is uh, these, uh, these uh, values over here. If at least a single one of them says regenerate yes, that means that you need to regenerate the selection because it failed to pick one of the action parts. Uh, the program is a little bit dumb, but you know, it works. If you want to ban more or less action cards and characters, you simply scroll to the side and and then scroll down below. And over here, you just extend this list. The more you extend it, the more cards will be banned. And the more values you delete, uh, the less cards will be banned. And on the right side, if you scroll even further to the side, we have the characters. Also, if you s extend this a little bit, you will ban more characters. Uh, if if you delete this, you will ban less characters. It's as simple as that. And in the case that you're watching this in the future and this uh, document wasn't updated, uh, this is how you do it. Uh, you simply scroll to the bottom uh, and in here, where you have the action cards, you just simply type the newly released action cards and then extend the numbering as well and for the characters it's the same situation you just simply type the name of the newly released characters next you will want to copy the cards that you entered then move to the side and simply add them to the list and we will do the same exact thing for the characters as well now we move on to the variables uh, we will need to adjust the variables so it's as simple as it seems. Amount of cards we have increased it to 186. Uh, we are selecting, we are filtering out the weapons. So make sure the weapons are included on the list. Specific artifacts, they are the elemental artifacts. You should also make sure that uh, they are in these positions. And we also need to adjust the amount of characters. Once everything is done, uh, you can see that you don't need to adjust uh, any other logic further and that uh, the newly added cards are already being selected and banned uh, as well as the new characters so i hope you have lots of fun gaming and designing decks and i shall see you another time